Have you ever been put in the situation to be fearful for your life and be on survival mode for you and your friends? Well, you will when you read The Lone Survivor. What's up, and you're watching Paperback Worship here on Nerdy Blurb TV. I'm Ryan, and today we're gonna talk about the true story, that is the lone survivor, the eyewitness account of Operation Red Wing and the Lost Heroes of SEAL Team 10. Now, that's a mouthful, but it is a real life story from one of the people who actually lived it. And when it comes down to that, you know that you're gonna be getting a hard hitting book. And that's exactly what this is. It deals with hard issues and it deals with serious loss, but pride for country and not to mention for survival in general. This was one of the first grown up books that I ever read and I really liked it because it made me think a lot about what I would do if I was put in those situations, but it made it even more real for me knowing that this was a true story. So let's dive into what this book is all about. On a clear night in late June of 2005, four US Navy SEALs, Navy SEALs are pretty BA if you ask me, left their base in northern Afghanistan for the mountainous Pakistani border. It's pretty dangerous, especially in 2005, y'all. Their mission, to capture or kill a notorious Al-Qaeda leader, Al-Qaeda, Al-Qaeda, Al-Qaeda. Never seen that spelled out. I'm surprised that I got that. Less than 24 hours later, only one of those Navy SEALs remained alive. This is the story of fire team leader Marcus Luttrell and the desperate battle in the mountains that led ultimately to the largest loss of life in the Navy SEAL history. Wow. But it is also more than anything the story of the men who fought ferociously beside him until he was the last one left. Wow. <laughs> Now, just from that alone, you can tell how sobering and serious this story, this book is. And Marcus Luttrell, who is the one who was left alive, made sure that that was in the pages of this book because it's his story. And I can really, really appreciate that. And I appreciate everything that he did, not only for this country, but because I live in this country for me. Now, having said all of that, I wanna talk about something that made me think really hard, and it was a choice that they had in this book, in real life, that really changed everything. And it came down to just them deciding on somebody's life. Now, this is going to be a quick spoiler if you're not familiar with this. While they were all hiking up to the mountains past the Pakistani border, they met a bunch of goat farmers where they had to make the decision to either let them go, which was the moral decision and ethical principles that they had, or to dispose of them to keep them a secret here in these lands. And because of whatever they chose to do, led to dire consequences in the end. And it made me think a lot about what I might do in that situation. So many times have I been put in situations to where I, I, I question the decision that I have to make because it's either, yes, good all around, but could put me in a place where it compromises my moral principles. But I've never been in a situation to where I or other people's lives are at stake. And that is a lot of respect that I have for those people who did that and were presented with that hard decision. Now, having said all of that, this book is a very, very well written book. It was a very good story and I very much enjoyed it. There are three parts to this book, the Navy SEAL training, the actual mission itself, and Marcus's struggle for survival after his friends being killed. And yes, there is a movie that has been adapted into it and it is a very good movie as well. But this book covers a lot of his own, Marcus's own personal thoughts and his own personal adventures, if you wanna call them that. I would say, I would call them way more struggles because of what this man had to go through was 
utterly hell. I hesitate to talk about the entertainment value of this book or the action and adventure in it because these are real people. These are people who died. These are people who not only lived through it, but suffered major trauma afterwards from that. But I will say that it is a book that I will read more than once and not only because I was entertained, but it is something that I think that is very important for all of us to understand what men and women give up and what they potentially sacrifice, if not do sacrifice and go through for us to have the freedoms that we have here in this country, which I do appreciate. Thank you so much. I have friends and family who have been in the military and who are in the military now. Thank you so much for your sacrifice and what you do for all of us. Out of all, as a book in a whole, I really loved it and I would definitely recommend it to anyone who loves the non-fictional type of books. I would give this book a four out of five for sure. Now, if you're into the military type of books, this is probably one that you should read right now if you haven't already. And it's probably one that you have already read if you love those kind of books because this is one of the best that I have read. If you want a, a whole aspect of not only understanding the culture of military life in general, but to understand a, a real and visceral sort of, of struggle that, that people go through when it comes to being under fire, this is a book that, that makes that come to life. Now, on the back of the book, there's also another part that talks about Marcus in a personal light, which I would like to share with you. It says, Marcus Luttrell joined the U.S. Navy in 1999 and became a combat trained SEAL in 2002. After serving in Baghdad, he was deployed to Afghanistan in 2005. He was awarded the Navy Cross for combat hero heroism in 2006 by President George W. Bush. Patrick Robison is the author of several best-selling U.S. Navy-based novels and co-author of the international bestseller, The 100 Days. So again, it shows that this is a real story. This is a real man's struggle in life doing his job. And the book is very well written. I really appreciate the attention to detail and how personal it is because it is his personal story and I'm sure it's his personal nightmares that he shares with all of us. So thank you guys so much for tuning in here today at another paperback worship here on Nerdy Blurb TV. If you guys like the content that we make here for you guys, please comment down below and tell us what you want to see more in general and just say hi to us. We love being able to talk to our viewers. If you guys haven't already, go check out the rest of our content. We cover a lot of books, movies, board games, and whatever have you. Just the nerdy lifestyle in general, but sometimes we like to get real with y'all. So be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. We'd love to be able to, to give you more content and create a community here on YouTube. Thank you guys so much again, and until next time, keep on reading.